Okay, moving forward, um, now we have to create our scoreboard. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to approach that. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the text tool here, and I'm going to um, type in some static text. First, I'm going to type in time. Okay. All right, and there's that. I'll make that smaller right there. Okay, there's the word time, static text, and I'll just copy and paste that, and this one will be change the to score. Okay, and I get my selection tool. All right, so there's time, and there is score, and now I'll get my text tool, and I'll get a dynamic text box, and I'm going to click and click, and then open it up right and then I'll get my tool here and then maybe I'll with my keyboard arrows on my keyboard I'll put it into position okay it's gonna I'm going to um, highlight this dynamic text box notice it says dynamic text when I select it and align it right okay I've got a sans serif font size 26 I'm gonna give it an instance name of um, timer underscore txt and then hit enter to make sure it takes. So now when I s click on this dynamic text box it needs to say in the instance window, in the property window timer underscore txt in property windows. This needs to be its instance name. Okay, and then what I can do is um, copy and paste that and slide this over to the right. Notice something interesting here. Time is static text here's a dynamic text and then look these two are both dynamic text I need score not to be dynamic text it just needs to be static text so I'll change that to static use my arrows or get my black um, selection tool and select it slide it over this text dynamic text box I need to slide this over too using my arrows on my keyboard I'm gonna slide that over pretty far and I'm gonna select it and name this score underscore txt okay so now I've got uh, timer underscore txt score underscore txt a static two static text boxes and I think I'm ready to go so what I'm gonna do is I'll click and drag with my black arrow selection tool select all four pieces and then go modify convert to symbol and I'm going to turn it into a movie clip. Registration point in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to uh, name it scoreboard underscore MC and I'm going to set up my um, linkage to be the same name which I can do right here in the advanced box here. Export for action script, export in first frame scoreboard underscore MC. Okay and so now it's um, good to go and my linkage is set so I can just delete it from the stage, right? And now when I hit control enter, you'll see it shows up in the bottom left hand corner because I've already put in the code to attach it from my library. Uh, let's take a look at that code again. Here it is. Attach movie scoreboard underscore MC, new name scoreboard underscore MC and the depth and all that. The other thing I'm going to do is right away I'm going to set the um, the timer and the score. So I'm going to say scoreboard underscore MC dot timer underscore txt dot text because I'm setting its text property um, equals zero. So that will set my timer to zero. And look, I missed an S here. Ta-da! All right. And then I'll just copy this. So the timer will be set to zero and then I'll set copied and paste score underscore txt and the score let's say um, will also be set to zero and you know what I'm wrong about that the timer is gonna I'm gonna set the timer to um, 30 to start with so timer underscore txt dot text equals 30 scoreboard mc dot score underscore text equals zero. Score is zero. We start off with our timer at 30. Alright, so that looks pretty darn good. 
All right, next piece to the puzzle. All right, since I have now my level and my score in my init um, in my init function, what I want to do is I want to I want to pass these variables on to the other functions. That's called the scope. When you create a variable in a function, usually that variable is only usable within that function. Uh, other functions can't see that variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try to pass these variables outside of the function. And I'm going to do that in this show screen um, function call. This show screen call, you'll see that already I have um, level being um, passed. And I'm going to put a comma and also pass um, score. So now, show screen, I'm passing it the level and the score. And the level will be, you know, of course, 1 and score will be 0. I'm going to pass that on. And now, when I go over to my show screen function, right down here, you can see that the show screen function, function show screen, is ready to accept an argument or a parameter level. And I just need to um, get ready to have it accept score. So I'm going to set S stand in, uh, for score and colon, it's going to be a number, right? And so now it's ready to pass the level and the score. All right. And current level equals level, right? And what I'm going to do is put a new line here and say var score. 